Now, our next speaker attributes her career success to her passion for creativity and her drive to forge strong client agency relationships. In doing so, she has built a unified and collaborative approach in which they support a strong and robust growth of client brands. This is the creative Kutala Gala Halton. Cool, thanks. Hi everybody and thanks for having me here. I'm Kutala and I'm here representing Joe Public United. We are a full service advertising and communications group. And I'm going to, I was asked to share a day in the life of a creative. Um, but the truth of the matter, after 20 years of myself being in this business, the best part is actually no one day is the same. Um, the, and that's, I think, what, is, what excites us about the industry that we are in. Um, it is, you never know what the next day is going to really bring for you. It's an, an, what you're going to anticipate for the next day um, and what challenges that you will have um, to face um, as the different projects that you work on on a day-to-day -day basis. So what I'm going to do is rather tell you about the journey because that's kind of the one thing that kind of stays the same. And it's really about the process that we follow when it comes to advertising and communication. So let me unpack a little bit about the journey. And really I'm talking about every kind of project that we work on, how it works and where we start. It starts pretty much right here. Meeting our clients and really being given the task and the job to be done. And really our clients, and we're partnering with our clients to make sure that we understand what is it that they are asking us as the agency to do. Therefore, we need to understand, because they have got, um, they, they too are disciplined, that they're working for organizations and they need to be able to deliver um, uh, results for their, for their organizations. Therefore, we need to understand what are their business objectives. What are the other param the parameters that we need to work on? Things like, uh, what's the competitor space? Um, what is the budget? Because we love to sometimes um, really indulge in uh, uh, budgets and make amazing, beautiful, joyful things. Who are we speaking to? It's important to understand who our communication needs to land to. And of course, what is the product? Is it something we're going to eat? Is it going to be something that we're going to, um, we have to sell? We need to understand how it works. And the greatest experiences at this stage is to be going, is to be taken on an immersive experience with your clients. So literally go into to market, taste your product, use the product, and start to understand, um, you know, how it actually works. And then of course the timings, everyone's always is going to have strict deliver deliverables and parameters of when they're going to need all our work by. And yes, this has to be done over a coffee. Further on, the next step, so once we understand the job to be done, we take that um, information and we go into the agency and a whole lot of us as creative minds, albeit from different aspects within the agency, and that's the fun part about being advertising, right, or and, and being creative. Um, there are many different factors and, and areas of creativity, but this is really the spot of where we are going to be strategic. Understanding, okay, and in fact, I should probably have a picture of a sieve here, taking all the information that we've already understood, sieve it into much more single-minded thinking, uh, what is the, the actual insight, therefore, that we're going to discover and try and take into our pieces of communication, understanding what else is everybody actually doing. So we know who's out there, but we need to, we don't want to be copycats. We need to be able to know that we're going to find what we call a white space for our communication and essentially develop what we call a growth insight that's going to give us the roadmap of where we're going to do and how we're going to do it. We take that piece of um, information and on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis, we move into what some might say is really be the beginnings of the exciting making the magic and that is the creative de development process 
And that process is really, yeah, it's a, it's, it involves brainstorming. Um, so sitting around, um, you know, our, our creatives, um, specifically at this juncture, are typically made up of a two-man band or two-man and woman band. Um, a art director um, who makes sure that they're going to be looking at what the pictures and, the, and, and all the, the design um, factors of, of our communication look like. And then, of course, our amazing copywriters who make sure the words and the messaging is going to come together. And these two often go away, they can sit around a, a table, they bring in any other people that they might think can, can add to their thinking. And yeah, um, there is the truth in that sometimes ideas also come in shower while you're having a shower, early morning showers, or it might even come through walking in through a grocery, a grocery mall, seeing a mother at, um, you know, picking uh, nappies, what nappies that they might want to buy for their children, and it might spark, a, spark an idea. Because ultimately, we're solving for a problem, and we want to be able to tell a story that is going to solve a specific client problem. And so all of this brainstorming and, you know, I think some people, if you're not in the industry, you think it was that one idea. This process is amazing because it's all about all the different ideas that one can put together. And then we take the sieve again and we start to go, okay, let's eliminate which ideas are we, do we really believe that we can take forward. And really the journey on a page at this point looks like this because we're going back to that client to package the cell. So we can't obviously at this process be showing a finished product. So it's important that we align with, align with our clients, recap on what they asked us to do, tell them what the strategic thinking that we have been uh, applying ourselves to and why we believe what we're about to show them as a creative solution um, or storytelling creative solution that we want to provide them what it looks like. And here it can be done in many ways. Um, we do presentations. Sometimes we have to act out what we are envisioning in absence of the finished product. But the most important thing is to convince our clients that this is the right plan. This is the right strategy. It's the reasons why it's going to deliver on the, on the um, expectations and objectives and excite them because communication and advertising should be emotionally evoking, get you to do something. And what I really like is should excite the client. Once we have aligned our clients and they've bought into our cell, then more magic happens from here. It is then when we get to start to go into what we call the execution stage, production stage, and it's there where we have the opportunity to engage with even more creatives that are actually supporting our creative industry. I'm talking directors who make commercials, uh, fashion designers who are going to help us make decisions on what people are going to wear, what are the makeup artists, what are the, how do they need to look, where are we going to do it, and really enhance our idea to pull it all together. Now, it all sounds uh, maybe quite uh, simple, but it isn't because these are all these many steps and actually one, the one thing, I, another thing I love about it, it's a team of creatives, all of us in the creative uh, melting pot, coming together to produce amazing work. So let me show you a couple of examples of some amazing work. Uh, 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 uh. 
Yeah, I hope that that's a, a, a real great example of showing how all these different minds that would have to come together to create something like that. I mean, it's, it's not about just painting these pretty pictures. It's the thinking that I've spoken to. It's the galvanizing and the collaboration. And I hope you're starting to see as well how um, it's different expertise that need to come together and they're not the typical things that you, or typical people that you would think that need to come together. Um, another one that I'd like to show you, because one of the important things that I believe in is, at, at Joe Public, we have a strong belief in really telling power, powerful stories and things that impact people's lives and make a difference in their lives. So here's another example of, that, of, a, of a campaign and a project that took that pushed all of us beyond our actual um, immediate expertise that ensured that we had to collaborate with some really, really smart people to pull this thing together. Homes and informal settlements were razed to the ground in Canton Park, Johannesburg. More than 10 children perished in separate fires in and around Cape Town last month. People who live in extreme poverty cannot afford electricity or simply do not have access to it. Meaning, they often turn to the most affordable source for warmth, cooking and light, an open flame. While affordable, it is also the most dangerous, with the two biggest causes of shack fires being fallen candles and paraffin lamps. If we can't prevent the use of paraffin-fueled flames, we need to at least make them as safe as possible. With over 250 stores nationwide, chicken licking is an integral part of communities all around South Africa. To help reduce the risk of shack fires in informal settlements, chicken licking took the one thing they had an abundance of, used cooking oil, and through a refinement process, recycled it to create an alternative to paraffin, soul fuel, a fuel which was then used to light up our one-of-a-kind lamp, a lamp inspired by our iconic box. Introducing the soul fuel safe lamp, Made from ABS plastic, the lamp requires an excessive amount of force to break. A screw-on cap holds the wick in place and prevents spilling. An elongated funnel has been added under the cap to further reduce the risk of oil being spread and ignited. Designed with a low center of gravity, the lamp is resistant to tipping and rolling. And should it fall, the diagonal edges cause it to either land right side up or face down, extinguishing the flame. With the continued distribution of the soul fuel safe lamp from our stores, Chicken Licken plans to reduce the risk and devastation of shack fires, helping the communities that support them stay safe. So yeah, another idea that I'm just almost imagining somebody was standing right inside a chicken licking and looked at all that oil happening behind and thought, hey, what do they do with that? What can we do with that? And how we can impact the greater world that we're living in. And then bringing all these technical minds into one place to be able to build a real sustainable solution that can help our country. Quite a unique uh, challenge that we have in South Africa. So I think I had another one, but I think I'm, I'm time-wise, I'm yeah, oh, good. Okay, so maybe I should just show you one more, indulge me. Um, one that we haven't done, but super cool, just to show you the magnitude of, and I'm really trying to dispel and bunk some myths that it's just about pretty pictures, and, and I'd rather to see that there are so many people that can join this amazing industry with their different talents and their smarts. So let's have a look at something that was done internationally. Having cystic fibrosis means that 
my lungs don't work as much and have a bunch of mucus in them. This is my airway clearance vest. It hits my chest over and over. And it loosens the mucus in my lungs so I can cough it out. Kids with CF, we have to do this all the time. Wearing the vest is the worst part of my day. I'm so glad my vest is here. You turn up the volume. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it really works! That's cool. <laughs> There is a specific sound frequency, 40 hertz, that is proven as effective as traditional CFS therapy. It loosens mucus, so patients can cough it up. Oh, that is working. The Wooger Sick Beats Vest syncs to your smartphone and pulls these frequencies from the music you're listening to, delivering them to the chest in real time. It feels like my dream is. The Sick Beats experience operates through Spotify. We scan the millions of songs on Spotify to collect the songs containing the 40 hertz tone and gave the CF community dedicated access to the therapeutic song library simply by following the Sick Beats profile on Spotify. In the Spotify app, kids can access thousands of therapeutic songs and discover new playlists to make their CF treatment the best part of their day. It feels like I'm inside a speaker. <laughs> The future is really creative, guys, um, and this industry needs pe more people from different aspects with different thinking. Um, and I have to say, you don't have to be an artist to be in advertising. You need to be innovative in your thinking. You need to have creative strategic um, abilities. You can be a creative problem solver and really be able to think out the box if we are going to actually take, our, take our, um, this country and ourselves and propel us into the future that we need to live in. So that's my plug for you to join us. Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah. And I think I've mentioned some of these things about what makes us love this world of advertising. It's the collaboration that I've spoken to, the personal growth that we, you experience on a daily basis. This energy, do you see what I mean? It's every day is not the same because you're being exposed to all these different minds. It's a fast pace, so if you like that energy and fast paced world, this is the place and of course the ultimate creative products that we produce and changing the world and seeing the results and learning every day and working as a team and making connections Connections and client relationships that we just love and keep us coming back into this industry. So join us. Thank you. Oh.